Okay, YouTube, what's up? We're here with the Oral-B Pro um, 8900 uh, toothbrush. Not recommending it, just saying what I have. This is what you have. This is how to take it apart. So, I'm following some guides by uh, toothbrushbattery.com. You can check the website for those. But they don't have this exact model, so I'm checking the three guides they have for the Pro and just going to try to copy that. They all say to start by removing this little ring with either pliers, with tape so you don't leave marks, or a little screwdriver or something. Kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to try this thing. Or you can leave it to first in hot water to soften this little stuff so you can remove it. Uh, I'm just going to try without doing that because that sounds like more work. I'll see how that goes. Okay, so I got the ring off. It was actually really easy. Don't definitely need to soften for this model, at least. It's a bit of crud. That's kind of gross. Maybe I should not be putting that on YouTube. That that's my toothbrush, but most people don't take theirs apart to clean it. Anyway, after that, it says for all of them, put it on the base. Like two of them, it says put it on the base and twist um, so that you can kind of open up the bottom. One of them you push through. Let's see what this is. It doesn't seem like it's pushing. Um, so I either need to twist or, like, pry it, kind of, with the base. Um, yeah, I'll go get that, I guess. Okay, so I twisted it. It was a little bit harder than I thought I would have to. I don't know if that was the correct way for this one, but, uh, it works. It looks like maybe, but it also looks like it's, um, I don't know. It, uh, I'm a little concerned. But we'll find out. Um, anyway, I don't know what's next. Alright, YouTube. Well, there's a little plastic bit that fell out, and I'm assuming this is what holds the bottom in. Uh, because it no longer stays together. So, um, I am going to get a new toothbrush in the end. Decided to try to repair it just in case. Uh, it would have been really cool if I did. If only there was a guide. If only Oral B made it supported people like me and didn't make me buy oh, I guess it's not in their interest. I think it's at the batteries. Screw you or I'll be. Alright, well, yeah, um, I was told I could glue it. I'm not exactly sure I want to, but I decided to push ahead a little bit actually. Um, this thing just like slid, pushing from the top. This slid off. I just removed this right now. It's fairly easy to do. You just like pull the side here because it's got these little clips. Um, you can pry that off. So the battery was the issue. This looks like the motor, and then I think the battery's back here. Yeah, it definitely is right there. So I guess I would remove that. Maybe I should. I don't know if what of this is safe to touch or not. I think capacitors and stuff like that are probably the dangerous things. I think everything else is probably okay. Probably don't want to. Just did not short anything though. I got plastic somewhere. Here. I'll try using this thing and see if I can remove that tab. It might be soldered, I'm not sure. Um, maybe I need to desolder right there, this little connection. And then I can remove the battery. I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's soldered. I tried prying it up, but it's uh, got two points where I can see it connected. So, we'll see if I have the patient to go any further. Okay, YouTube, we're back in business. It still turns on, and it actually does hold. Uh, it turns out I was right. You are supposed to rotate it. You stick it on your base, not backwards. You twist it. The thing was that it wasn't holding because I needed to twist it back. Um, so, I, I may end up still trying to mod this thing. Um, just because that would be funny. Um, don't know what mods I would do. Maybe I'll post this video, and if you guys have any ideas, you can let me know. Um, I heard you can cut the spring down and put a bigger battery in. That'd be pretty cool. Um, taking inspiration from computer mods. Uh, you know, we could put, like, a side panel into this. Um, maybe some RGB, or, uh, like a... Uh, this tiny little like L LCD display or something, uh, LED display. I don't know. Mm. What else? Uh, spoiler maybe, or mm, 
wireless charging spinners. for spinners. I don't know what that is. Um, or USB Type-C charging. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it looks like this is where the charging is. I mean, I guess it already does have wireless charging. I guess so. Well, then I guess we gotta take that out and put Type-C charging in. Um, I guess it's in this blue thing. I don't know. I think this is a pretty uh, new world toothbrush modding, so I don't know if we will have a lot of guidance online. Maybe it'd be best to just stick with the battery and not mess up the charger. Uh, if I want to still use this thing, but, hmm, you know, we'll see. New Frontiers, maybe.